showed you how to prepare a fender for paint, but today we're going to show you how to find a paint code and how to mix the paint. All right, uh, today we're going to be showing you how to uh, find the paint code and mix paints like we explained earlier. Uh, a lot of your cars, they'll be in various places between uh, your, on your doors, they can be uh, in the trunk underneath the spare tire, in your glove box. Today though, for the Ford Focus, it's real easy to find. They're in, normally on these, they're on the door, so you just kind of look through on the sticker, and right here it says exterior paint, and the code is TS. So we'll take that code and use it to find what color of paint this is and what we need to mix it. And since we just came from the car, uh, we have our paint code of the TS, and you come in, you get your uh, PPG color chip books, and these list all the different color uh, chips for all the different years. And our year is a 2002, so we go to the 2002, we find Ford, and right here it says TS, which is the paint code that we need. Um, the PPG number is 4987, and what you use this for is just kind of verify that you have close to the same color, um, which this is the color we're using. It's a silver frost metallic. Um, and after we found this, we can type it in our computer that we have, and it'll actually give us the formula that we need to mix the paint. So. Uh, now that we're at our computer, and this is what will give us the formula for our paint, um, we come over here. We go to our code search, type in the brand code. 4987 and we search that and it gives it gives us right here two different options uh, we want the Ford North America option and we change this to DVC which is our paint that we use and here it shows us that we have quite a few different variances in the paint um, the difference is is like on this one it's your regular prime color this one has a little bit more blue tint to it um, your lighter flop, a darker, coarser face with a light flop, red, yellow. Um, and then what we'll do is, since we have variances, we'll go over to our variance chips and look through those and then go to the car and see which one matches up the best. And over here we have all the different makes, or makes of cars, different companies. Um, right here we have our Ford, number five, which is Gray's pull that out and this kind of shows you all the different colors and shades the tints of all the different colors so what we're going to do is find our number which is 4987 and we have these three right here that are the variances um, you can kind of see a little difference in them so what we'll do is we'll take uh, take these over to the car and we have a uh, sunlight from 3M that helps reproduce like the actual sunlight what it looked like outdoors so we'll take this stuff we'll go over to the car and see which chip matches up the best of the car and on these chips they have holes in them and that's to kind of help figure out which one matches the best you can see This one's a little bit yellow. So we'll look at the next two. And I would say that this would be the one that we need. Which looking at it, um, it's the 4987. It's got red to it, so we'll have to go back to the computer and find which paint code on the computer has the red tint to it, and that'll be the one that we mix up. And since we determined that the one we need has a reddish tint to it, we come back here, we find uh, which one is 4987 with the R code, which is right here, and it says redder. And that's the one we need, so we'll double click on it. Um, right here it shows the manufacturer, the OEM code, the brain code, um, the variant that's in it. And here's the formula of what we'll need to be able to mix this tint of color for the car. Um, we'll come down here. And we're just going to mix up eight ounces right now. And once you got everything that you need, you just come down and you click on the label. And it'll print us out a label.
And on this label, it shows us, uh, of course, you know, the brand code, the color, and all that. And then on this side, it'll show us the formula to mixing up the paint, uh, which product we need to mix it, and how much we need to make it. So we'll go over in the mixing room and mix this up. All right, uh, now we're back here in our mixing booth area. Uh, we have two different mixing stations that we're using. Uh, we have a PPG, the uh, Deltron part, and then we have back here, we have a uh, PPG Omni, which is just a little bit, it's a cheaper product line. Um, these are both our PPG products that we carry, and today we'll be using our uh, Deltron products. So we'll come back out here and look at those. Uh, and you always want to make sure that you uh, let your paint mix thoroughly. Uh, you got to get all your metallics and you know, the coarse parts in the paint mixed thoroughly through so you get the right color. Um, if you don't mix them, you know you're, you might wind up having a, a different looking color than what you you know need. So uh, and all we'll do is we'll use our uh, label here that we got. We've got a uh, shows right here all the product number that we need, uh, the product number, what color it is, and how many parts we need of that certain product. Now that we have it uh, mixed, we're going to go ahead and put it on the uh, paint shaker here, mix it up, make sure that it's all thoroughly mixed, get all the metallics and the flattener and the flop in it all mixed thoroughly. Just set it down in here, tighten it up, close the lid and mix it. Alright, now that we have it uh, mixed up, you can see our color here, um, our next step to be, we'll uh, get, get it ready just to be painted, so check it back next time.